I'm going to start the day. It's Tuesday. Randy said he's going to try a whole case of this uh, pieces of the past. Here we go, Randy. I'll tell you what, I'll just get all the packs out and then we'll open them one by one. Deal? Hey! I cut my vein. I'm bleeding. Just kidding. And if you go chasing rabbits, and you know you're going to fall. Tell them a hookup. Smoking caterpillar has given you the call. Call Alice. And she's ten feet tall. When the man on the chessboard get up and tell you where do you go. White Rabbit by Jefferson Starship or Airplane. You should check it out. I saw it in a movie like a week ago. It's been stuck in my head ever since. The lyrics are really cool. I heard it when I was a kid several times. I guess my mom used to play it on the record player. But I hadn't heard it in 30 years. I heard it the other day. I was like, damn, that song's cool. I remember hearing that when I was a kid. I think it's about all the drug references in Alice in Wonderland. A lot of packs in this old case here, Randy. Should be a hundred, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, thanks, Ed Ram. What's up, sci-fi guy, Mr. Wiz? Two boxes left, and we'll have it open. <laughs> yep, that's true. Actually, Jumbo is pretty fun, too. At least there's hits in this stuff. The worst will be like a case of Heritage or Opening Day. <laughs> That's where the brutality starts setting in. Let's see. Took two hours to open a Heritage case. We got nine jerseys and three car autographs. All right. Let's see what you get. 100 packs coming. Geronimo. Hey, there's Cisco Art. Isaac Newton blue. He needed the money. Uh, James Jeffries gold. Vincent Van Gogh blue. Oh, there is a group break up, Ed Ram, but this is a personal case for a ST Dr. Wit 11 there. <laughs> That's a cool looking chunk on that one. Uh, Mary Antoinette. That is a one of one. That's a cool looking chunk. JP Morgan Gold. But 
there. I did put up another one of these Ed Rim uh, Wilson. People were digging them yesterday, so I put another up. Henry Ford. Vincent Van Gogh, Queen of England. Alexander Graham Bell and another one of these type cards. Who is that dude? Oh, Vincent Van Gogh. Where did he go? I bet his mom was always like Vincent Van Stay in the damn yard. Sitting Bull. Relic Chunk. Theodore, Roosevelt, Teddy, King George and Mona Lisa, gold and blue. What's up, Jeff Carr? Hoover and Ford. Oh, you teach history, Randy? You know the story about uh, uh, Abner Doubleday? Leonardo da Vinci and Mark Twain. What's up, Ian Wink? Rhino. John Kennedy and Carl Mercedes Benz. Here's another relic and Bonnie. And a Geronimo Blue. World history, just history, must have been a surveys course. Blackbeard and Captain Morgan. Genghis Khan. I was hoping you might give me some insight into the market economy in the southern colonies. My contention is that prior to the Revolutionary War, the economic modalities, especially in the southern colonies, could most aptly be characterized as agrarian pre-capitalist. Joe Biden, Thomas Edison, Edison, P. T. Barnum, Wolfgang Mozart, Cisco Art, Orange. John Kennedy and Vince Lombardi. They named a trophy after that guy. <laughs> Come on, guy. Sam Adams, P.T. Barnum. Satchel, Sullivan, Martin Luther King, and William Clark. That's right, Juice Vickers. Work in Essex County, page 98, right? Yeah, I read that too. Van Gogh and Rockefeller. Ludwig van Beethoven and Ben Franklin. Willie Sims and Vince Lombardi. Oh, got a triple relic of John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and Aaron Burr. What's up, Zach Z? <laughs> it's good luck to do that. Willie Sims. John Kennedy. We went to the depository building last time we were in Dallas. I seen you was from Dallas. The book depository building or whatever it's called. Lewis and Benz. Here's another triple relic. Michelle Obama, Harriet Tubman, Kamala Harris. Triple. Mary. Mar 
Martha and Martha. You got the gold and the blue. Sir Isaac Newton and Thomas Edison. Yeah, I did. I already packaged it, uh, Randy, but I'll send it with all of this. So you'll get it all in one big package. P.T. Barnum and Bailey. P.T. Barnum relic. Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth of England. Abigail and Jesse. What'd you kill Jesse for? Speaking of that, I hadn't seen Jesse C in a minute. Hopefully he's doing all right. Galileo. Did you know words can hurt people? Jesse? There's Bill Shakespeare. Seen Jim been using your paper not for writing, but for rolling doobies. You're going to be doing a lot of doobie rolling when you're living in a van down by the river. Sir Isaac Newton, Ben Franklin Orange. Orange, you excited? Albert and Renoir, gold and blue. Ben Franklin and the card players. Paul Cezanne did that one. Packs are very tight on the open. Oh, I think we got an orange super fractor. Henry Wells, George Washington. Orange super fractor. Uno de uno. For those of you that don't speak Spanish, that means uno of uno. All right, back to back. Here's a 10. Henry Ford and 10 of 10, Ben Franklin. 10 of 10. There's all the damn cut autographs up in this piece. Kamala Harris, the son of man, 1964. Rene Magritte. That one's number two, 100. What's up, tabletop? Alex TTG Genghis Khan. Old relic. John Hancock, that dude likes to sign stuff. And very bold writing. Thomas Jefferson and Henry Ford. Ben Franklin and Girl with Pearl Earrings. Painting. Walter Camp Satchel Page. Martha and Ronnie. Set up random pack of draft prism. Yeah, I can, Jeff Carr. Remind me after this break. We did a few on release there, at least a couple. Maybe three. I can't remember. I can put another one up, though. Satchel Page, that's a big fat card. Looks like an old glove. Vintage baseball glove relic. It's not Satchel Page's glove, but it's a glove of the time period that he was playing in. Does that make sense? If that was Satchel Page's glove, that car would be worth a million dollars. But it's a it's a old glove from that time period. John Kennedy. Here's another one of one. Aaron Burr. Cracked ice. 
One of one. Uno de uno. Captain Morgan. I do like to kick back with a rum and coke every now and again, from my understanding. Henry Ford and William Clark, W. Griswold. Renoir, Alexander Hamilton. He said he wants his face on money. Make it a 10 spot. Oh, Mary Todd Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson. Cornelius Vanderbilt. Benny Franklin, Henry Ford. Michelle Obama and Impression Sunrise, 1872. That's kind of neat with no color but the sunrise. Claude Monet did that one. Monet really gets my nads. I forgot what that guy said in Breakfast Club. John Bender. Something about Monet really gets my nads or something. I don't know. Maybe he said Monet. I can't remember. That was many, many years ago. Galileo and Blackbeard. relic of George and Jefferson. George Jefferson? <laughs> Wheezy? Where's Wheezy's card? They're moving on up. George Jefferson. Dual relic. They're going to move up to a deluxe apartment in the sky. George Herbert Walker Bush. We got Bush. George. They're moving up to a deluxe apartment in the sky. Also read beans don't burn on the grill. Abner Doubleday and Henry Ford relic. Y'all did a contest. He won them, so there's no value. He he won them in a contest that I did, and, and I was shipping them. And he paid the shipping, of course, but um, it was free. I guess you can put five dollars. I don't know. You want to put five dollars? Okay. Okay. Yeah, dollars fine then. Like I said, he won them for free. I didn't know what to put. UPS saying I didn't put a value on a package that was going to the United Kingdom, but it was from that jackass break, and the guy that won that autograph card wanted it ship UPS, but I didn't put a value because he won it for free. What kind of value do you put on free? <laughs> Martin Luther King, they said, but it has to have a value. I'm like, well, $5, I guess. I don't know. He didn't pay anything. Woodrow Wilson... Impression Sunrise, but this is the numbered version. Number to 100.
Theodore Roosevelt, John Kennedy, red. Ben Franklin and Martin Luther King. You like that story there, dime. <laughs> Thomas Edison and Walter Camp. Walter Camp is orange. Captain Morgan again. I like the writing back then. Looks like they took their time and they cared. Captain Morgan. Andrew Carnegie. There's another one of one. How many, how many one of ones is this so far? Oh, that's a pretty cool one though. Super famous painting, Scream, by Edward Munch. One of one super fractor. There you go. <laughs> Herbie's hand. <laughs> Juice. What's up, Jeremy? Sure. George Washington, Dwight D. Eisenhower. There's another jumbo relic. This one's Johnny Appleseed. I think we ever pulled a relic from this dude. Johnny Appleseed? Not even a small one or whatever. He must be the short print. Michelangelo. Parents were in Italy at the Sistine Chapel, and apparently they say no cameras. This is back in the 90s. No cameras while you're in there. Uh, Alexander Hamilton and Scream. So my mom took her video recorder and she held it down to her side so she could get the images of all the painting of the ceiling and everything he did. But she was holding it like this, but on her hip. So you really can't, she didn't know what she was focusing at. They had a strict rule of no cameras in there. At that time, it may have changed. Franklin, the storm of the sea. My dad did not like that. <laughs> he don't like breaking the rules. Mom said she don't give a F. She's gonna get her some tape footage. Um, Queen Elizabeth. Blue. Leonardo da Vinci. Woodrow Wilson. Really, Nate? <laughs> they still got that rule in effect? And uh, Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Edison. P.T. Barnum, Louis Pasteur. Miguel Adams. Abigail Adams. Barack Obama. Relic. Sitting bowl. Gold. Two packs left. Here, yeah, Randy. Theodore, Theodore Roosevelt. And the last one is Beethoven and old Tom Morris. All right, Randy, that's it, buddy. Thanks for, thanks for the break, man.